Alright, thank you for making the smart choice by staying tuned to WBS TV. Right now it's time for Goldies where we bring you important public figures. And joining me today is a huge star coming in all the way from South Africa. You all remember Generations? Yes, that's Sophie back in the 90s and early 2000s. Oh yeah, she's here. She joins us today, right here, right now on Goldies. Ladies and gentlemen, Rosie. Montana. <laughs> Good to see you. Same here. You look Thank absolutely you. amazing. Thank you very much. Wow. And you've not aged a bit. You still <laughs> I look. <love> you. <laughs> <laughs> share a secret. What's the secret? What, what do you do to keep you, you know, know what? Share a lot. Dance a lot. If you want to eat ice cream, eat it. Go to the gym. Okay. It's, it's a good life. Oh, you know, wow. And a good life meaning that you count your blessings, you pray, you love, uh, you cry when you need to, and yeah, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a mixture of everything. And um, I understand it's not your first time in Uganda, you've been here several times. <laughs> yeah, my second home. Right. I call it my home away from home. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah. What does it feel like this time around to mm -hmm. be back in UG? It's really exciting because last year was um, the, the launch of the film festival. So I'm really, I'm really interested to see if there's been an improvement in terms of the technical aspect and, and the films and the acting. Mm -hmm. uh, always great to be back and I'm looking forward to, to seeing my friends and family. Here All here. right. You have uh, close friends, I hear. Very, very close friends. Yeah. Okay. People <laughs> yeah. like Gaetano. Yeah, I have Gaetano. I mean, I have a very good friend. And I meet Abija, Miss Flav, mm -hmm. um, Cleopatra, who also I represent with my talent agency. And I'm very, very blessed. I have, you know, it's, it's a phone call away. Right now, let's uh, switch gear here and talk about your days growing up. Mm -hmm. uh, what can you tell us about your history as a child growing up? I came from a very <laughs> unconventional background. My mother was a domestic worker for a white Jewish family and uh, they, they raised me as their own. So for a lot of the time and during the apartheid era I was raised, raised in a white home. So that brought a lot of complexities, brought a lot of um, confusion. Um, I had a major identity crisis throughout my teens going into my twenties. Um, and then in my thirties I, I made the, the, the conscious choice to, to find out who I am and, mm -hmm. and, and you know getting back to if you want to say call it going back to my roots and getting to know my biological family on a more personal level. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was my upbringing. I, I was very very fortunate I went to private schools I got a degree from the University of, of, of Advanced Front which I did my drama okay. and then I actually got my first agent in my first year. Is I it? I served her a pizza. Uh, okay. <laughs> and she was like, who are you? I told her. Um, and then she signed me on. So literally, I've been working in the professionals field even when, when I was studying from, from 1994. So this, this is quite a big year for me because it's my 20th anniversary in the industry. Wow. Yeah. So growing up, acting wasn't your thing. Growing up in the upper third yeah. era, you didn't dream of becoming an, an super actor? I wanted actress. to be a dancer. And oh. my mother was like, you can be a dancer but get a degree first. Okay. <laughs> and that was the best advice she ever, ever gave me. And when I went in to get my degree, I originally was going to go for law. And then I was like, I don't want to do seven years. Let me do a BA and decide. And when I looked at the curriculum, I saw that there was about drama department and what attracted me was that there was a, a movement in dance section so at least I could still follow with my passion. One of my greatest regrets is that I didn't pursue my dancing further because I got involved in university life studying and so forth but yeah that's 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 where it all started. And when did you start to take it on seriously and decide you know what I think acting is, is my thing let me do this for the rest of you know my, my life. It was my second year in university and a friend of mine said to me who was in my acting class said you're auditioning for this and I was like no I it was a can timber play the suit. I said, no, I'm, I'm not an actress. And he was like, you're going to audition. Went in, the director was like, where have you been? Okay. She took me through the process. And it was on opening night when we had that standing ovation. That's when like a tear was rolling down my face. So I was like, this is where I'm meant to be. So Rosie, let's keep the show rolling on with a choice of your classic music. What next do you have for us? Let's go for Janet Jackson, Nasty.